guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lindsay, I'm a registered dietitian and on my channel you will find easy recipes, kitchen shortcuts, meal prep and meal planning hacks, basically anything to take the stress and guilt out of eating. So you guys loved the crispy honey, honey garlic cauliflower bowls so much that I decided to make another little twist on it. I love hot sauce, <laughs> anything buffalo. So today I'm showing you a recipe for a crispy buffalo cauliflower bowl. So if this sounds good to you, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel to be notified whenever new videos come out. All right, so I'm gonna start with the most important part, which is the cauliflower. I washed and cut up a head of cauliflower yesterday. It really works best to get super crispy if it's really well dried off. I kind of did this to save some time, um, but also this really lets the moisture dry out. So I'm gonna get these onto the baking sheet, into the oven, and then I'll start putting the bowl together and show you that part while it all cooks. So the first step, I've got a little breading station. I'm just gonna mix the order around here. So I'm just gonna dip it in some egg. You could also use like an egg replacer, a chia egg. I've seen Bob's Red Mill. They have like an actual egg replacer powder um, if you wanted to make it totally vegan. So I'm gonna dip the cauliflower in there first. And then I've got in this bowl a combination of some panko breadcrumbs, some flour, and some salt and pepper. So I really find that the combo of having the flour in with the panko, I don't know, it just kind of like breads it a little bit better um, and helps with that crispiness. So I'm gonna go ahead and bread all of these up and then pop back on to show you what I'm doing next. I almost forgot a really important step. So I like to lay a little bit of oil down on the parchment paper um, before I actually put the cauliflower down. So you could spray it or you can drizzle it. You need a high heat cooking oil. I'm using camelina oil here. Avocado oil is another go-to for me. But laying this oil down first is gonna make sure that all sides of the cauliflower get nice and golden and crispy. All right, so oiled up, so I'm gonna transfer what I started of the cauliflower onto my oiled baking sheet. <laughs> okay, back to it. So these are ready to go in. So the other thing I like to do is make sure that the cauliflower is really spread out. That helps it get crispy instead of steaming up. So popping them in the oven. While the cauliflower is baking, I'm just getting all of the bowl ingredients set up. So I've got a bit of rice here, some parsley, some sliced radishes, and then I'm just using like a pre-mixed bag of cabbage or coleslaw. You could totally slice your own up, but this is a nice little shortcut. And then I'm gonna slice up some celery. Gotta have some celery with buffalo almost forgot the ranch dressing. So you can make one at home or you could buy a store-bought one, but I'll link the recipe to this one below. It's so easy. It's just a Greek yogurt base, a few other simple ingredients. Okay, so the cauliflower is out of the oven. Look how crispy it is. All right, now for the best part, I'm gonna start building up the bowl. So I'm gonna dump this crispy, beautiful golden cauliflower right into the bowl um, and toss it right with the hot sauce because I want it to be all covered in every little nook and cranny. Um, so I'm using Frank's. This is my go-to for any like buffalo kind of thing. I, mean, I love pretty much any hot sauce, but I feel like you gotta have Frank's for true buffalo. Um, what's your favorite hot sauce? Would you go with Frank's? Would you use something else? And just giving it a good little toss. Oh, probably shouldn't have worn a white shirt when I'm tossing hot sauce. <laughs> Grab a little spoon to make sure it's all covered up. All those little crispy bits that were on the tray too. Oh, they're so good. All right, can you see that? There's our buffalo cauliflower. So I'm just gonna go ahead and build up the bowl. So I'm gonna start by adding this slaw mix or your shredded cabbage, whichever you're using. And then I'm gonna dump in my rice. So you could also use like millet or quinoa. I've got a post on the blog just sharing some other grains that you can use for meal prep. I'll link that below as well. Um, so just give them a little toss with my hands and then build, build this little guy up. So the cauliflower is gonna go in there next. Now my favorite pieces. <laughs> Ooh, these look so good. In my excitement, I forgot to actually cut up the celery. <laughs> so I'm just gonna Cut a couple slices of that. I always like to just chop off the ends and then, all right, throw the cauliflower in there. Our radish, you 
really could use any veggies in here. Um, I like these ones because they're nice and crunchy. They're not like super overpowering flavor, so you're really getting the flavor of the buffalo. And this ranch dressing, so good. So drizzle a bit of that on there and you're good to go. And ready to do it again. So excited. <laughs> All right, that's it guys, our beautiful crispy golden buffalo cauliflower bowl. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can find the recipe down below in the description box. And before you jump off, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, share this recipe with anyone that you think might love it, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. I'm gonna go enjoy my bowl. Mm.